I'm Tempest, I'm 19 years old, I'm in college, and I'm addicted to eating laundry detergent and soap. Hey guys, hope you're having a good day today. Today we're going to be looking at TLC's Woman Eats More Than 100 Bars of Soap Every Year. If you're anything like me, you get addicted to shows really easily. And TLC has some of the weirdest and wackiest shows you can think of. And this episode of My Strange Addiction won't be any different. Well, without further ado, enjoy the video. I do actually wake up and go right down to the laundry room. It's extremely embarrassing. If it's really that embarrassing, just don't go eat detergent every single morning. I take my two fingers and I dab. And it looks like this. It tastes like sweet, salty, sour, bitter. So this will last me like 15 minutes. Man, how are you just gonna do this to your body and your in your health just for 15 minutes of the satisfaction you get from eating this laundry detergent growing up i've always loved the smell of laundry detergent and during the times i would be stressed i would smell laundry detergent and it tends to like calm me down How are you just going to go one day smelling laundry detergent and then it just evolves into just eating it like it's a McDonald's cheeseburger? I feel like I'm supposed to eat laundry detergent because it feels so right. There are some serious dangers involved with eating soap or laundry detergent. Thank God that this very professional man decided that, to say that because if he didn't, I was actually going to go eat some laundry detergent right now. When I think about the idea of the soap and laundry detergent cleansing me, I basically mean I feel refreshed. And so if I feel refreshed on the outside, why not feel refreshed on the inside? Well, excuse me, Miss Tempest, but I'm pretty sure if you want to feel clean on the inside, you go to therapy or, like, get help from, like, a psychiatrist or something. You know, from my personal life experience, I don't think eating soap makes the problem better. When I'm stressed or aggravated, I tend to eat more laundry detergent and soap. I've been stressed a lot more with school, me graduating high school, so now we entering college. My roommates, they have an idea of what's going on and they know, you know, I like the smell and they know I enjoy washing with um, soap, but they don't really know the full extent. And you know what? Don't tell them the full extent because if, if I had a roommate who told me that they eat soap like regularly, um, I, I would have to find a different place to live. Um, just my opinion. I can't live with someone who sits there and eats soap for breakfast. Just my opinion, though. Now, I noticed that she takes a lot of showers, and I was wondering if she kind of had a problem. So I just want to go ahead and lay it all out on the table, and hopefully their opinion doesn't, you know, hurt me too much. You know how, like, you, you get bubbles in your hands, like, from the soap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I eat it. That's nasty. That's nasty, the soap. They are literally not holding anything back. They're all just yelling at her like, oh, that's nasty, Tempest. That's nasty. And I mean, good on them, you know. If if she's really their friend, they should be looking out for her and, you know, stop her from eating dish soap. Tempest, why? You're going to be sick. <sighs> okay, and that's for the laundry detergent. Um, I eat that too. So why do you do this? Like, what's the purpose of eating it? Because it calms me down. Picture something making you feel so good that you, you feel like you can't help it, that it does become an addiction. You need to stop. It's only gonna get worse. It's hard for me to, to, to hear this from you. This is difficult because I was dealing with it and I've been dealing, it, I've been dealing with it for months. I didn't want any little things to jeopardize like our friendship. I'm sorry. I do think that Tempest needs to receive help, so maybe seeing a doctor would probably help her. Yeah, definitely she should go to a doctor, but maybe not your traditional doctor, you know, that practices Western medicine. Maybe you, your, uh, you know, hypnosis or a doctor, like a psychiatric ward doctor. 
visiting my parents and I really feel like this is the best time for me to go ahead and explain to my mom and sister um, what's really been going on because I don't like keeping secrets. I mean, you've kept the secret for this long, so I mean, what's the point in telling them now? You might as well just keep lying. I have something I need to talk to you guys about. Mom, you know you've always brought the same laundry detergent. And have you noticed anything? Like, any you like the smell of it? Yeah, I love the smell. I like the smell too. Not only do I sniff the laundry detergent, but I just taste it like a little bit. Why you, eat, you taste laundry detergent, Tempest? Why that makes no sense. Why would you eat it? Cause, because the smell lasts longer in my mouth. Are I mean, you serious? I, I need you to tell me the truth. How much detergent are you eating a day? How and much how it? many times a day are you eating it? I taste the detergent like seven times. It's just tasting my no, officer, you need to believe me. I'm not punching them full force, so actually it's not real domestic violence. See, doesn't make any sense at all. I think it's important to find out where this is coming from and if it's anything that we can do to help you. No, I understand. That's fair, I understand. My worst fear is her dying. I would like her to get some help and find out why she does this. Today I'm here at the psychologist. <laughs> I would personally like to take credit for giving this very dumb individual the idea to go to a psychologist, and I would graciously accept this award. I feel ashamed because I wish I would have never gotten to this point. That 15 minutes of comfort does not amount to the damage that I can do in the long run. That's what I'm saying. But seriously, I know I've been bagging on her this entire video, but I'm glad that she's finally getting some help and, you know, she's actually taking action against, you know, this addictive thing that she's going through and she's actually deciding that she's going to change herself for the better and, you know, so that she can have a better relationship with her family and all her friends. Maybe I can eat brownies or something else, you know, instead of me turning to the detergent. Well, that's enough TLC for one day. I guess the lesson here is, uh, don't, don't eat soap. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you decide you hate me.